Hi guys, my name is Jake. Welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. Um, I'm right in the middle of my transition between different types of meds. So I don't have enough of every kind of thing. <laughs> it's basically withdrawal of opioids that I'm, my body's going through uh, because I'm switching to a non-opioid painkiller. But I can make a little video and uh, hopefully you'll appreciate it. It's about the Hearn's Beak. I had a number of questions from people, from viewers, and so I want to address those. But I'm holding my mic too, so I might let go of it and it'll twist and hopefully it doesn't sound too bad when it does that. One thing I want to say about this knife, people were asking, what is it really in there? Is it uh, bearings or is it washers? It's phosphor bronze washers that are smooth. And it just, if I can do this with one hand without hurting myself, it just falls down when I release the uh, access lock. So I just pull back in the access lock a little bit and it just falls right down. But when it's open, no blade plays side to side, up and down. It's that's a good system that uh, Benchmade designed. So that's what that is. And of course, you could tighten up the pivot if you wanted to a little bit. And um, I've heard I've used this a bit, but it was very smooth from day one. Uh, so and uh, Love Them Knives did a partial teardown where he took the G10 off. So I'll put a link down below for. Uh, his video along with the timestamp on where that section is and you can see those bronze uh, washers in there a bit better. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing leads to the third. The second thing is that tip. Why was it bent like that? I had one viewer tell me that his knife was closing so hard that it was hitting the tube for the lanyard hole. Uh, and the tip, they were contacting each other. Two things you can do about that if you've got that. I don't know if my tip was bent from that or from something else. It could have been from that. If I push really, really hard together, I can get it that far, but just the G's that happen when you do something like that, you know, that sound, it could have been the sound that it was clacking here, or it could have been clacking uh, at the pivot where it touches the uh, stop pin that's right actually the this is the stop pin as well as everything <laughs> as everything else well sorry this is the stop pin as well two ways to address that remove the heat lanyard tube ta-da you're done because the uh back body post is quite a bit further away it would have to be it's just not possible for it to go that far or you got to sharpen this thing sometimes, right? And when you sharpen it, that tip will start to wear down. And in maybe a short time, you'll have removed so much steel that it no longer clacks on there. In which case, good. Or you can leave that lanyard tube out temporarily and put it back in after you've sharpened it a few times and see if that's good enough to fix that. Now, the last question is, some people were asking me, how do you sharpen... Uh, this sort of curve in here, because it's got a recurve on the tip. Well, I've got a video about how to sharpen recurves, and uh, I own decent, I own good diamond stones for it, but there's also some good uh, regular type stones. Basically, you want a narrow stone. Uh, I've got some narrow stones that have a bit of a radius on them, a bit of a, you know, a curved top, so it's only touching at one little spot, but I've also used successfully very, very well on slight recurves like this, uh, just using some knives that have the uh, just a little narrow profile, like one centimeter wide. The very final solution, which addresses both sharpening and the tip right here, uh, you just sharpen it with a wider stone and you're going to grind off the tip anyways, <laughs> which you don't want to do necessarily, but maybe you do. Maybe you don't like the fact that it's got that slight recurve and you want it to straighten out even though it's still called the beak, but it just won't look quite as, you know, raptilian or raptor -tilian. What's that? Raptorian? Like a raptor. I'm talking about like a raptor, like an eagle or a hawk. <laughs> it won't have that raptor type beak. I forgot to add one thing, so I'm tacking this in close to the end here. Uh, to sharpen it, the, uh, like I said in the video, the stop, stop pins, the thumb studs come off very easily with T6 screwdriver. And in fact, I did it 
you know, the first time with just one side and I just undid it. I think when I put it back on and tightened it, I tightened it too hard or not enough or something where I needed the screwdriver on both sides. So you may or may not need to use two screwdrivers. Let's keep watching the rest. So that's all the stuff I wanted to tell you about this guy and let you know an update and basically answer questions that people have. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I do have a review coming up soon. And remember, always cut towards somebody else. Your chum, maybe, but not your thumb. <laughs>